Hi everybody! Today we're going to make an asteroid game. Basically there will be a camera in the center of the screen that we will control with our mouse and we'll have to prevent the asteroid from colliding with it. You will see that it is a very simple and fun game. So if you are ready, let's get started. Let's begin getting rid of the cut and designing the cannon. So let's paint, circle, the fill should be grey and let's make a circle here, center it and now zoom in, take the rectangle and make sure your cannon is pointing to the right, like the initial direction of the object. If you want you can leave it this way, if not you can take the rectangle and send it back as you prefer. Let's call it Canon. And I'm going to create the other two sprites. One is the laser, which is uh, a red line basically, wider, centered as well. That's the laser. And also I'm going to create the asteroids. Let's take again the black outline and the grey fill. And now let's make several circles. Ok, here it is. Select everything, make it a little bit smaller if you want and center it. That's the asteroid. So now let's code all the things. Well, maybe first of all, I'm gonna I'm going to add the three backdrops. One is gonna be the normal backdrop, which is gonna be stars, and the other ones are gonna be uh, black backdrops with a you won and you lost message. You won. Let's also change the name of the backdrop. You won. And let's duplicate it. This is gonna be you lost. Okay, so everything's ready. Maybe in backdrops we can put that when green flag clicked. Switch backdrop to stars. And now let's go to the canon. It's very simple. When green flag clicked. Let me change the, the backdrop. Here we have the three objects. The cannon is going to be in the center, so 0, 0. And as I was saying, when green flag clicked, forever, point towards mouse pointer. And by doing this, I can control the cannon. Also, this is going to have a simultaneous program that will do forever. If mouse down, we're going to create a clone of the laser and we're going to wait a little bit so that there is a small delay between one laser and the next. But not a big delay, it could be 0.2 seconds. And this will look like a machine gun that uh, shoots very quickly, okay? So this is what the cannon is going to be doing. Now let's go to the laser. And what is the laser going to do? Well, um, first of all, when green flag clicked, I'm going to hide the original laser because we're going to be working with clones. So when I start as a clone, first of all, the laser is going to go to the, the cannon. So go to cannon and it's going to be pointing in the same direction. So point in direction and now in sensing we have a great block which is this one and let's select here a cannon and here direction. So point in direction, direction of cannon. After this we show the clone and the laser is going to be moving until it, it is touching the asteroid or the edge. 
So we're gonna repeat move 10 steps could be good uh, later you you decide if this is too fast or too slow or adequate so the laser is gonna be moving until touching either the asteroid or the edge so touching edge or touching asteroid and after that we delete this clone let's see I click and I can shoot. Do you see that the laser appears on the cannon, on top of it? Well, that's easy. In cannon, in looks, let's put go to front layer, and that won't happen, won't happen anymore. If I press and hold, I can shoot like a machine gun, as I said. So the cannon is, well, more or less done. And now let's go to the asteroid, which is the most complex object in this game, okay? In the asteroid, well, again, when green flag clicked, we're gonna hide the original asteroid and forever we're gonna be creating clones. So create clone of myself and we're gonna wait for one second. So we will create one clone every second. When I start as a clone, where is the asteroid going to go? Well, it is gonna go to a random position and it's going to be pointing towards the cannon. But imagine this position is this. We're not gonna have time to react. So after going to a random position and pointing towards the cannon, we're gonna move it back. So move, let's put negative 500 steps so that it moves that way. And in case it moves too much and stops pointing towards the cannon, we're gonna point towards cannon again. After that, we show this clone because remember the original one was hidden and now it has to move. So again, we use a repeat until. And this is going to move like seven steps until it is touching the cannon or a laser. So let's go to operators. And this is gonna be moving until touching cannon or touching laser. After this, if it is touching the laser it's going to to delete this clone if touching laser we delete the clone but if touching cannon if touching cannon we lose the game so if we lose the game we're going to switch backdrop to not costume sorry backdrop to you lost. And in all these we should have that when I receive, sorry, when backdrop switches to you lost, we're going to stop the creation of asteroids by doing this. Stop other scripts in Sprite, so we stop all these things and we delete, delete this clone. And I'm going to do the same with the laser. I'm gonna do almost the same with the cannon, but in the case of the cannon, we are not going to delete this clone, we're going to hide the cannon. So if we hide the cannon, we have to show it at the beginning of the game. Do not forget this, okay? Let's see. Okay, that works perfectly. And now what do we need? We need a score, so let's create a score, maybe right click large readout. At the beginning of the game, I'm gonna do it in the asteroid. I'm gonna set score to zero. And when are we going to get points? When the asteroid is touching the laser before deleting this clone. So we're going to change score by one. Let's see if it works because there might be a problem.
Well, hopefully you've noticed that sometimes either the, the asteroid or the, or the laser do not disappear. And that's because um, we are deleting the clones very fast and sometimes one of the clones disappears before the other one has realized it is touching the other one, you know? For example, the laser disappears, deletes its clone, and the asteroid hasn't realized it is touching the laser, so it doesn't delete the clone. What are we gonna do? We're going to add a small delay in both um, clones, in both sprites, like 0.02 seconds, and here the same, before deleting the clones. And here I'm going to add a longer delay. Let's check now. Okay, now that works perfectly. Both the laser and the asteroid delete their clones. And we're adding points all the time. So that's perfect. Now we're going to add um, an end to the game. And here in the asteroid, I'm going to put that if we have 30 points, and that's something I'm going to put before deleting the clone, obviously. So here, after changing score, but before deleting the clone, we're gonna put that if we have like 20 points or 30, whatever you want, we're going to switch backdrop to you won, and we will do the same as we've done with the you lost. When backdrop switches to you won, stop other scripts, so the asteroids stop uh, being created and, and moving, and we delete any asteroids that we can have on the screen. The same with the laser, and the same with the cannon. Another improvement we can add is change the speed of the asteroid, or rather than the speed, the speed of creation of the asteroids as we are getting points. So instead of creating one asteroid every second, we're going to create one asteroid every frequency seconds. That frequency is going to be here, I'm going to hide it from the screen. At the beginning, we're going to set frequency to 1. So what do we had? 1 second. But when score equals 10, for example, so I'm going to add, wait, I'm going to add an if here, and I duplicate this, if score equals 10, we're going to set frequency to 0 0.5, so that the, um, the asteroids are created twice as fast. Let's check if that works. Yes, it does. Let's see if I can win the game. Oh, almost. As you see now, they're coming twice as fast, and I won. 20 points, and I win this game. Another way to make it better is by adding sounds. So, well, that's quite easy, as you know. Here in backdrops, we could put, for example, we could add two sounds to, from the library. One could be, ta-da, for victory, and one could be, lose for the defeat. And we could do that when backdrop switches to you won. We start sound. Tada! And when backdrop switches to you lost, start sound lose. And also there could be sounds when we uh, shoot the laser. In that case, it should be here. Let's see if there is a sound that is appropriate here. Yeah. Maybe laser 2. Let's start sound 
here and let's see okay that's good okay that's perfect so that's the game i'm not gonna continue use your imagination to make it better and i will see you in the next video guys bye bye